Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are counting down the 18 most powerful heroes in the game. Last time we looked at number 10 most powerful hero in the game, Magic. Now we are down to number 9. So who beat out Magic? Who is the hero that just, just slightly beat out Magic? We are running out of heroes. So if you've been following along, which one of these is going to be number 9? Number nine, in my view, of the most powerful heroes in the game is Dr. Doom. All right, so there you go, Dr. Doom. So why is he a very powerful hero? Well, he's kind of a newer hero, so he has a lot of the newer mechanics, obviously, um, which, you know, kind of puts him into a category of you know he's been updated recently he has the new mechanics uh, hopefully his items and powers will represent that in fact you know magic was also kind of a newer hero as well number our uh, number 10 hero but number nine dr. doom interesting enough uh, kind of the mechanic that really kind of energizes dr. doom is the fact that obviously he has a whole summon tree over here which you can focus in on or you can kind of ignore and go other ways and what you can see here is I actually did that I kind of just kind of um, just kind of ignored the actual summoning now there's a lot of players out there that love the Doctor Doom summoning and he can run around with probably uh, six or eight or nine guys with him to come fight enemies and that's awesome uh, but I chose to go a different path. Of course, you can choose whatever path you want. What kind of separates Dr. Doom is he actually has three different signature powers based upon what you're going to focus in on. So you can either focus in on the summoning, you can focus in on the sorcery, or you can focus in on the tech part. And depending on what you focus in on, each one of these different categories has its own signature power. That separates Dr. Doom right there from all the other heroes in the game, I believe. Um, I think there's only one other hero in the game that I can think of that has more than one signature power. Uh, and the fact that you would get a signature power in whatever you're focusing in at is absolutely wonderful. And the signature power is really, really good. Uh, in fact, all of his powers tend to be, you know, obviously very good. Because he has the new mechanic of choosing a power and then choosing a subcategory of that power, you can really kind of fine tune your character and what you want to do. If you really fine tune for summonings, obviously that's one area. We went with the sorcery power and then we went with a little bit of. I believe we also threw in some physical damage there with our Levi uh, Leviathan air defense. So we have a little combination going on. Uh, stat power rank wise, you see we're at 42, 45, 42, 43, 40, 37, and 32 uh, for our main attacks here. This is kind of the only reason we have points in this is because we want the physical damage to proc off for our uh, legendary power cosmic and of course the power dupe as well. Uh, because we'll get that physical whenever we hit with the physical power we're going to gain a whole bunch of brutal damage and whenever we hit with a physical power uh, we're going to gain uh, um, physical power uh, yeah rank number two we're going to gain 1500 mental damage rating as well so kind of a combo so we definitely want that we could obviously take our points out of that and kind of focus him in completely in Sorcerer, but we decided to go with a little combo, which again is another way, just another option to build him. So there are so many good options. You can see that uh, just compare Dr. Doom's sheet with a lot of the other character sheets, he has a lot of powers in each category. Uh, we just looked at uh, a couple heroes just not too long ago, and then in each one of their, one of their categories, they only had like four or five powers. Uh, so it gives you lots of different options to build him. He is a very, very powerful character, whether you build him with summons or not. And the reason is because even if you choose not 
to put powers into uh, to summoning, you actually can put one point into them because you will have a nice passive effect that will happen all of the time on each and every one of these. You can see up here we have a summon, we can summon blah blah blah, but we have a passive effect. Range pays power damage plus 5% just by putting a point there all of our range power based damage is going to be five percent more uh, this one here is going to give us a defect rating of 108 this uh, this effect is a de uh, disabled when this power is on cooldown but we never actually use this power so it's active all of the time you can do the same thing with this one here if you're going to focus in on a melee build so there's uh, unlike a lot of the other here Yes, I understand, Dr. Doom. Just be patient with me, buddy. Uh, unlike a lot of the other heroes where you're going to completely ignore accession, a, a, uh, a category, because they don't do anything for you, at least with Dr. Doom, even if you don't focus in on summons, you can still get these bonuses by just putting a point into it. So it makes them a, a valid power, even though you don't, you're not going to be using it so that is they need to be doing that with a lot of the other hero powers in the game because there are too many wasted categories and a lot of heroes out there and even though I'm not summon and even though I'm not summoning creatures I'm still going to put points into these because they're still a valid good uh, power for me to actually put points into uh, which makes him very very good if we look at his stat line, let's go ahead and take a look at him here. Uh, you know, because he's a combo power, it's it's a little hard. You're going to focus mostly in on your energy. You obviously would like a little bit of strength to energize your Leviathan air defense. And I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but Leviathan air defense for that physical damage. But we're mostly focusing in, obviously, on energy, which is nice. And, of course, like to get some fighting. Uh, as well, uh, ranks in his items seem to be pretty good. Obviously, we looked at his rank. Ranks seem to be pretty good where they need to be. Uh, and, you know, uh, the rest of his items kind of hidden powers. 14% chance when you hit with the range power to tap into unlimited power, gaining plus one to all attributes for five seconds. So, you know, there's a lot of hidden stats that aren't built into things. Uh, that's kind of the norm for the kind of the normal heroes now is, okay, when this happens, you know, when you use a tech power, increase your physical and energy damage rating by 96. When you reach three sacks, you enter you, with either your sorcery or tech bonuses, your critical hit for the next 10 seconds will restore health. Uh, you know, just hidden stats like that. As far as his stat line goes, uh, nothing too impressive. 44.6% for his mental attacks for critical hits. Yeah, it's a little bit low where it needs to be. Uh, brutal Strike ratings of 46% as well. A little bit low as well. And that's probably why he keeps at the number 9 spot on the list. His stats just, uh, just tend to be a little bit less than some of the other heroes out there. And the fact that his ultimate power... <sighs> What's the best way to put this is not very good in my opinion. Now, uh, you kind of get lifted up in the air and you're kind of has this like these guys carrying you above their heads like the you know, like you're an Egyptian god or whatever. And um, great little mechanic, you know, kind of graphic effect and everything. The problem is it is so hard to control, especially in a tight environment where your guys are, you know, kind of moving forward and you got to kind of maneuver it around and you're bumping into walls or bumping into obstacles or anything like that now here if you hit, hold down the shift key on your keyboard uh, you can kind of get around this problem um, but I have not tried that yet I cannot verify that that actually helps at all or whatever but actually, his ultimate power actually knocks him down a few notches, which is a little weird compared to some of the other heroes that actually are getting knocked uh, up a few notches based upon their ultimate power. You know, I'm just not a fan of Doomsday's, or Doomsday is the name of the power, 
I'm not a fan of Doom's ultimate power. It's just so hard to control. And like I said, I've heard uh, rumblings that you can hold the shift key down uh, and kind of get by bypass the fact that it's so hard to control. But because of the because of the fact that it's hard to control, um, I'm just you know besides that, you know if you if you could make sure that his ultimate power is doing as much damage as it possibly can, and that um, you know we're not losing out on DPS on that. Uh, Dr. Doom might move down a few notches uh, because he is a very, very powerful, powerful hero. Uh, but I'm just not a big fan of that. His signature power or cooldown, uh, it's a nice effect. It does a really nice bit of damage. I think the 30 second cooldown is a little, just slightly too long. I'd like to see that at 28 or maybe 25 seconds uh, for that signature power. In fact, uh, does this one tell us... Yeah, it's gonna cool down to 40 seconds. That one has a cool down to 40 seconds. So actually, we have the lowest cool down, which is only 30 seconds. Um, it's just I think it's a little bit too long, little just slightly too long of a cool down for what um, for what he needs uh, for it. And again, it does some really really nice damage. And of course. The best part about it is you recover 100% of your maximum magic. So, bloop, go back up every 30 seconds. Uh, and because he is so magic intense, you can you can run out of magic. Uh, and if this was at 25 seconds, that would just keep him in the fight that much longer. Uh, not that he really needs that. It's just that would really kind of fine tune him just slightly better. Uh, I'd like to see that at maybe 28 seconds. It would be awesome. Uh, like the last year of Magic, we had one at 28 seconds. Maybe we could do the uh, same thing for Dr. Doom. Or maybe even 25 seconds. And maybe give him, instead of 100% Magic Recovery, maybe give him 80% or something like that. I don't know. And of course, your sorcery base damage is going to be an extra 25%. So he does a nice, nice bit of damage. He is a teleporter, which also, where is his teleportation? This one right here. Um, do, 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 do. I think this is yes, this um, this is uh, teleportation, and of course, not only does it just teleport you, but it restores magic for four seconds every time you teleport. So again, a nice, just that slight little difference. Uh, instead of costing magic to teleport, I'm actually gaining magic back, which doesn't sound like a huge thing. But it is, let me tell you, it is a very, very huge thing. Um, so as our number nine hero, Dr. Doom, who will be number eight? Who beat out Dr. Doom? Come stop in and watch the next episode to come shortly. Thanks for watching. See you then.